using this lip tint by L'Oreal. So I'll be trying out this Too Faced Peach Primer. It's available at Debenhams. I've done the foundation review of the Peach Perfect Foundation. I'll link it up here on the video. Go check it out or at the description bar. So they are similar packaging if you've seen that video. Can you see that? It looks like peach. Yes. And this is a cooling matte skin perfecting primer. So it's very cool on the skin. How are you guys doing? Let me just ask you guys how you're doing. Mm -hmm. Hope everybody's good. This is actually making my skin very dry but I'm combination skin and it's giving me a very matte finish. My color correcting palette and this is by Makeup Forever. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to dip a little bit of the Urban Decay Fisher Oil. This one. I'm going to apply that. Because I've been breaking out a lot, I need to do this. Let me highlight and contour before foundation. Okay, I'm going to take the contour shade, this shade right here. I'm going to apply that in the areas that I contour. You're looking crazy. I'm going to take my concealer, Kiko Skin Tone Concealer in number eight, and the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Biscuits. Okay, one is lighter than one, so I have to miss the two. So I'm going to take the NARS because this is light. I'm going to apply this in between. So I'm just doing a fun video today. Just playing around with things. Like looking at all, looking like all those Instagram girls, you know. I'm one of all those Instagram girls. You know, this is how we do. So I'm going to blend the contouring first. I'm using my retechnic sponge for this. This step make you use less foundation actually. Don't worry about it not being clean and all that because you're still going to apply your foundation on top so with a clean sponge i use this to blend have to do now is take my foundation the foundation i'll be using today is the la content idol my favorite la content idol ultra 24 hours foundation so i'm going to apply this on top of this it's the retechnic sponge again i'll just use this to blend out
how flawless is that so i'm going to use the Too Faced peach perfect translucent powder today powder look like peach plastic right here that is protecting the powder this is a nice packaging it's protecting the powder in case you want to put the powder in your bag when you're traveling this plastic of hair you put the powder so when you just want to do you can open it then lock it back when you're done okay that's not bad oh, it's really soft on the face and oh my god this is a very strong peach scent so if you are not a like you don't like scents on your makeup you are very sensitive mm, you're not going to like this powder i just apply a lot on my under eyes for fallouts from the eyeshadow i'm going to take this powder brush by Too Faced the ph cosmetic pro matte powder in 250 this is now available at beauty bay the dust off the excess powder Guys, this brush from Too Faced is really, really soft, guys. This is soft. This is a good brush. I'm going to take my face powder by BH Cosmetic on the Too Faced brush. I'm going to use it to dust off my face. I'm going to use the CoverGirl Queen's Collection Ebony Bronzer to bronze my face rather. Cute brush by Too Faced. I'm just going to spray my face with my Mario Podesco facial spray. So I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Highlighter Palette. I'm just going to use the two powder and this color as a blush. I use this cute brush by Re Technique. It's not out yet, but. This shade. That beauty lipstick in Girlfriend. Then the mini in Shameless. Then I will use the Huda Beauty lip liner in the shade Spicy Girl. I actually like the formula of the lip liner. It's not drying, it's very creamy on the lip. It's not... You guys know I have a dry lip. This is not drying me out. Oh, that is a very beautiful color. See you in my next video. Bye guys.